Here's Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. Back with you close to 5:11 on this Friday morning. Severe weather preparedness week continues on. Flash flooding awareness, the topic of today. Obviously, flooding bulletins are just as important as other uh, such bulletins like severe thunderstorms, even tornadoes. But it's uh, certainly one that lingers much longer when you look at the uh, entirety of a watch or a warning. High rapid water rising means moving to higher ground immediately when a warning is issued is paramount. We say it all the time, turn around, don't drown, and that's especially the case with rushing water. As little as about six inches of water could take a human and obviously a car off of foundation. And little known fact, flooding actually kills more annually than tornadoes, lightning, and storm surge. So just because you see a flood watch or a warning issue doesn't mean you should discard it like any other severe warning that may perhaps be a shorter duration just as important. Rainfall we're getting from our first low pressure system in quite some time, uh, likely to bring about a few tenths, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain in select spots. But another wave of low pressure coming in early next week, likely to help really boost those rainfall tallies when both these systems are said and done. Could be looking at about an inch plus in most spots around the lower Cape Fear and parts of the Carolinas. That will be beneficial for us. 64 this afternoon, the occasional shower starting to wrap up by early evening, dipping back into the lower 40s. Winds are going to be another thing to watch out for 10 to 15 miles an hour. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, those wind chill values in the mid and upper 30s. So grab the heavier coat. Lower 60s come tomorrow. Here's the composite radar, and it is showing the influx of showers and the live Doppler sweep showing most of the heavy activity off to the north. But we've got a few light variety showers and sprinkles across the lower Cape Fears. We take you through the next several hours. Here's what you can expect. The heaviest bouts of rain expected mid to late morning through early afternoon, and then notice uh, things start to get quiet by late afternoon. Now we'll take you through the balance of your Friday into Saturday. Look at the sunshine that's expected to make an appearance once again for Saturday. So things like the low tide run, the St. Patrick's Day parade all look to be on the dry side, maybe a bit cool and chilly. You'll have to deal with some breezes too. our next wave of low pressure coming in on Sunday, and that will be beneficial for us too from a rainfall perspective. All in all, just be ready to grab that umbrella should the need arise. West Shore Home First Alert Sky Camera View from the Murkison Building. 51 degrees, cloudy skies, and northeast wind at 5. So temps not quite as cool as yesterday morning. 60s for the afternoon, converting back to 50s and 40s. At this point, I'll turn on your wind chill values, and you can see just how cool it's likely to feel as that northerly air takes over. This is tomorrow morning, feeling like the middle and upper 30s, despite air temps in the lower 40s. A few of those pockets of upper 30s and 60s coming again by the afternoon. Planning forecast for you now. Remember, we spring forward this weekend, change out those batteries for your smoke detectors, CO detectors, and we bounce around the cool 50s and 60s in that amount of time. A couple uh, opportunities for freezing temps to watch out for also, in addition to some frosty weather. Kim, back to you.